Hey everyone, uh, I have a fun topic for today. Uh, first, I'm just going to tell you about a project that I've been working on, and then second, I'm going to uh, lead into a, a question and just like fun thing to think about um, that I would love to learn about you all. Um, so I've been for about a year and a half now, probably just a year, well, probably a year and a half kind of crazy, been working on a game, uh, a card game, a tarot card game, more specifically. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this was I had been learning tarot for a while and found a lot of fascination with it. Um, I was interested in divination, um, well, still am, but like that's what got me into tarot. But then the more I learned the cards, the more I learned that they had a really interesting history, they had a lot of interesting meanings, they had a lot of interesting associations and patterns that um, were not only fun to learn, but helpful from a personal development standpoint. It deals a lot with just uh, the personal archetypes, uh, the hero's journey, um, with different energetic elements. Uh, essentially, the tarot deck is a is one way of mapping out the human experience, kind of like a mirror to the inner self, I believe, after the studies that I've done and my interacting with it. So I thought it would be cool to make a game out of it for a couple reasons. One, to help people gain familiarity with it in a like no pressure kind of way, um, and to like hopefully inspire people to learn more about it. Uh, but also because of the mechanics of the deck. So it's similar to a normal deck of cards in that it has the four suits. It differs in having one more set of um, court cards um, and then it also has 22 extra cards beyond that called the Major Arcana, 0 through 21. Uh, so I think that makes a total of 78 cards in a standard tarot deck. And um, I, th I had a thought. I like just kind of woke up, honestly, and thought to myself, it would be awesome to make... To, to find or to design a card game because of those extra cards, that extra factor, um, I thought had a lot of potential in game mechanics. So I set out to design the perfect game. Um, it's maybe not perfect yet, but it's very close. I've made about... 10 or 12 drafts of the game, I would write up a set of rules, and then I'd go test it with somebody to see how it actually worked out in real life. And a lot of times I'd find that the basic mechanics were cool, but it needed some balancing uh, towards the end game, it needed some tweaking. So I would just re edit, re edit over and over and over again. And finally, um, finally have a version that I think I could actually send out a set of rules and, um, and see if people could play the game without m me actually being there. And, uh, that's kind of how it would be successful. Good night. Thank you. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is only seven. Uh, and my girlfriend's parents were saying good night. <laughs> That's how late it feels after the time change. Um. Okay. So, um, what was I saying? My goodness. Oh, the game will be successful to me, or like it'll be ready to like spread if I can send it to some people. They can play it without having to talk to me, and if 
they were able to give me back feedback saying like this was actually fun and I wanted to play it multiple times and I wanted to tell my friends about it. Um, that would be success for me as a designer. Um, and potentially being able to sell the rule set in, in some way. So big project that I'm working on. Uh, I just wanted to kind of put that out there um, and uh, let you know it's called Long Lost Lovers and let you know you should look forward to it. Uh, for sure. And then now, then I wanted to just uh, put out a quick question to the world before my battery dies on my phone, which is, um, do you remember in your life games that you've made up on your own or with friends that um, were especially fun or maybe even more fun than sports you learned or games that you picked up off shelves or that your family had? Um and if so, how far did it spread? Were you able to share it with the rest of your community? Did it spread by word of mouth? Um, what what made you make that game? For example, in college, I played hallway tennis with my friends, and that's because we loved tennis, but it was winter time, you know. <laughs> so like, um, so we found a way to keep playing. Um, what kinds of things have you come up with? That could be in your early childhood. That could be elementary school. It could be in college, it could be in your adult life. Um, <clears throat> I am definitely curious. Thanks for watching. Please comment, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and just want to put out a quick thanks to my Patreon supporters. Uh, there's Kaylee Harris, Brittany Maloney, Kelsey Rockcliffe, and Jason Isacone. Um, I appreciate you guys. You help me. Um, able to continue creating as a as a, be a person out in this crazy world uh so yeah keep checking in i will talk to you next time